our videos come along three, sometimes even four weeks after we've video the footage. We just video and then later on when I go to edit, I realize things like we sat here and filmed for 10 minutes talking about what we had done on this particular trip and she didn't record. <laughs> um, there was a lot of user error in this video as you'll see coming up. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> Some of the continuity like I'm gonna go from a beard to no beard yeah that fast yeah yeah that's because it's been a couple of weeks since we actually filmed the footage right. that you're about to see boiling everything down into a nutshell we finally got to spend some time with our friends Tim and Angie in Minnesota. We didn't really do anything and that was the best part of it. We were there for two and a half days and we had some good food, had a lot of good conversation. Angie's still working from home so she worked in her office and I worked in her kitchen. <laughs> he spent a lot of time checking out local cigar shops. Come on everybody. Yep, I am on my way back to the house. Just got done giving my weekly donation to Walmart. And before that, I went and visited a cigar shop. Pretty nice laid back place again. Uh, the guy that runs the place, super cool, super chill. Uh, nice little bar area, several little seating places to sit in there. Kicked back with some of the locals and just shot the shit for a while and smoked me a nice cigar. Uh, definitely would recommend if you're ever in the area. He said it's just a nice go in, sit down, relax, kind of just let everything just go away, you know what I mean? Now, on the way back to the friend's house to kick back, relax some more. I'll probably end up smoking another one tonight. It was just a, a very nice, relaxing couple of days. Didn't have to worry about anything. Just chilling out with some good friends. I think we're having some pasta tonight. Got me a nice loaf of uh, garlic bread to go with that. Uh, tomorrow we got to get up a little bit early. Leaving about 6.30 or something like that. Uh, got to go over on the north end to pick up the next load and it goes down to, I believe, Sioux City. But that'll get me back down in the Midwest and then I have no idea where we're going from there. Uh, the end of the month, we got our home time coming up. Hopefully the weather cooperates. I can get the motorcycle out, get the GoPro out. I haven't really gotten been able to do that just yet. But the wife has the GoPro figured out, so we're gonna try some of that stuff. See how that goes. I hope everybody's having a good week, and uh, we will catch you on the next video. A couple cigar shops, got some cigars. Just it was good to just sit back and relax not have to worry about anything. Now, our dogs did a lot of this. And he did some of this. not me snoring it's the dog <laughs> no it's not the it's dog, the dog. Um, again we want to thank our friends Tim and Angie for putting us up and putting up with us it was a very very enjoyable time at this point they're not friends they're family with that in mind we started our day at the what is it was it a quick trip quick star it's there in St. Michael just off the interstate oh, and that's a quick star okay they're doing a lot of construction in the area, a lot of road construction, and that is where we are going to start our day. So, <laughs> well, we got out onto the highway, so that's all right. But you didn't have to kill anybody. Yeah, this whole area is under construction, so traffic is going to be a nightmare. 
So we will catch up with you guys on the flip flop. Utility cards. Let's go check those out, see what those are. to the Baumgars warehouse there in Sioux City and swapped it out, picked up another trailer full of Baumgars stuff that is headed to Hot Springs, South Dakota. And that's where we're currently headed. But do we know what's in this load? It is a load of everything for Baumgars. I mean, there will literally be everything in there. I mean, it's just very basic what it is. I mean, yeah. I see uh, water, oil, concrete, tote, uh, box. Yeah, it's just hey guys. It's a very, very, very generic packing. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah we'll deliver it to an actual store. All so right. We'll get it open up and see what's inside of it. Yeah. So on another note, if you had two weeks and a motorcycle and budget wasn't really much of a concern where would you go you can find it to the United States yeah continental United States you'd have to start roughly in the middle yeah. the Kansas area <laughs> we, you know, Kansas City so everybody knows about where we're at yeah you have to start from Kansas City you got 14 days where are you going where are you going what are you doing we need some ideas is there something special that you would like to see or that you think other people should see? As a general rule, we don't do big cities on the motorcycle. No. So, and, and we want to avoid the things like Six Flags or Worlds of Fun. Three roads, in the hills, whatever. We want those weird attractions. <laughs> um, I, I, don't, I don't think I want weird. No, we want we, weirder the better. <laughs> Unusual is good. Unusual, yeah. <laughs> Drop some suggestions in the comments below and... Oh, Rio Grande. Oh, there's a whole flock. Yep. They're so tall. They're so big. And they're taste so good, dumb. <laughs> they taste really good, though. I don't know how they taste. I've never had one. That's fine with me. That's where we're going, what we're doing. We should be in Hot Springs in a few hours. And then we don't really know where we're going from there. But I haven't got the return load yet, but we got an idea of where we might be picking up at. Yeah. Just because the area we're in. Yeah, Hill so, City is not very far from Hot Springs, and Hill City is where we go to the... The lumber mill. Yeah, the lumber mill and pick up... Pick up bags of sawdust and take yeah. it back to Baumgarten. It's a pretty drive, so... I gotta come up with something different than stick around. Or we'll pick you up later. Or see you on the flip-flop. <laughs> but all of those, any of those, work. So, catch you later.
fix shit. <laughs> what are you two doing? Because you look kind of guilty down here. Are, is surgery over? Surgery's over. Surgery's over. All right. We lost a little screw that's in there. Oh, there it was. Well, lose it. It came loose. Yeah, well, it came loose. Yeah. yeah, that's so much better. Thank you, my love. Okay. If you guys follow us on Facebook, you know that we do a lot of like food adventure kind of stuff. If you guys follow us on Facebook, you know that we do a lot of food adventure kind of stuff. Anytime we come across some uh, regional kind of local flavor thing that we don't have available to us at home. Well, this one, it's not so much weird food. Not for or, us. Not, yeah, not for <laughs> us. Or it's not even a regional thing. You can get these pretty much anywhere. But it's just been a long time since we've had some. Yeah. And I kind of wonder how many of you guys are familiar with this particular food. <laughs> I haven't had any of these probably since if I was a high school. never had these before. This is what they look like. It's basically hard corn. It is deep fried it, corn, basically. Is, is it deep fried? I think so. I don't know, but listen to this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> As good as you remember. I remember. <laughs> you had to have ranch flavored corn nuts. They couldn't be any other flavor. They had to be ranch. High school revisited. Can you reach the trash bag? You can reach the trash bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the little jobs. Yeah, she's slacking on hers right now. Whatever. I took the trash out. Anyway, oh. so we're going to sit here and uh, revisit high school. And we're going to drive and revisit high school. Yeah, but I'm still just going to sit here. She's going to do what she always does. Nothing. Yeah. She's going to do what she always does, sit there and look beautiful. The steering wheel don't hold itself. You're too chicken shit to drive. <laughs> I don't have a license. All right, next stop. Hot Springs, South Dakota. return load. <laughs> sort kind of. of. <laughs> We're not going anywhere to pick anything up. A lot of times when we deliver bomb bars, when you have returns, like you return something to the store, well it has to get back to the warehouse at some point or somehow. So I think that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be bringing back probably only a couple pallets worth, if that, Maybe? of returned items all the way back to Sioux City. So, or, In effect. <clears throat> or we're bringing back an empty trailer. Yeah. Either way, there's not going to be a whole lot of weight in the box, and return footage isn't going to be worth a crap because it's pretty much we're going to go right back the way yeah, we came. We're going back the exact same way we came down, most likely. So, yeah, nothing I can do about that. So, I guess this will bring us to the end of this week's video. So, get yourself some corn nuts. Corn nuts for the win. And while you eat those, check out his videos on TikTok. Follow us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. See, See you bye. bye.